Right, I'm here outside into traffic and I'm inside a solar powered car with Bart. Yes. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Good, and it's really good to meet you. Uh, you're at the wheel. You were involved in designing this, right? I was, yeah. Everyone right. in our team was involved in either designing or the procedure around getting everything ready for the event or, or getting the materials to build this car. Which runs, it's covered in solar panels and runs off solar photovoltaic uh, electricity. Yes. Only. Only, yeah. Amazing. Um, we'll talk more about it, but let's, let's have a ride. So this is the only one of its kind, right? Yes. It's still a concept car in theory, but it's a fully functioning concept car. So it actually drives on only solar power that we've generated so far. And it's road legal in the Netherlands or in the entire world, therefore. But yeah, uh, we have a license plate and everything. And uh, yeah, we did all the tests that come with that. So it's, it's really a full car. It's charging all the time. So that's why we specify our range on a sunny day. Yeah. And on a sunny day, we can drive around 710 kilometers. Okay. That is with a full battery when you're starting and then it just keeps on charging while you're driving. We went uh, from the very northern point of Morocco into the Sahara, yeah. driving on only energy of the sun. And we did a combination of on-road bits and, and a lot of off-roading too, where we really put the car to the test what it was designed to do, which was uh, an amazing experience and it went really well. Yeah. Of course, like any uh, concept car, there's gonna be some small issues, which we were easily able to fix there. And then we, we managed to finish in the Sahara, which was really awesome. Okay, uh, my name is Bart van Beuschem. I am an uh, electrical engineer. I'm a student at the Eindhoven University of Technology. And uh, all of us are together, we are a student team. So we're only students who all have different areas of expertise. So my part of this car is the battery system uh, and how to keep the car safe electrically. Uh, but we did everything on this car ourselves. Yeah, so for us the initial aim was uh, our team has a history of making solar cars and um, in, we started off building solar cars especially for the World Solar Challenge in Australia in a cruiser class so it's, it's four person or five person vehicles um, and we did that successfully we won four times and after that the last team said maybe it's time to look at something else so instead of making a solar car that is designed for a solar challenge try to see if you can show the world that solar power can be used in more ways than we are thinking of right now. So they built a camper on solar power and we thought that was a nice direction to go. So we have been brainstorming. What is a strong aspect of solar power? What makes it unique is that it's everywhere. So this car is independent of charging infrastructure because it doesn't need a, a charging post or anything. But to emphasize that we decided to make it off-road to also make it independent of infrastructure as in roads so it's really total freedom in a car it's quite big um, the main reason for this is just area the sun has only a limited amount of energy per square meter uh, and we want to catch as much of that as we can while also keeping it nice and drivable so it's uh, we think a nice compromise there um, and also it's really really lightweight it only weighs 1200 kilograms uh, which is makes it a really efficient car uh, it's also very streamlined so the combination of weight and aerodynamics make it that this car can go around 710 kilometers with a battery of only 50 kilowatt hours this these black mats are filled with solar cells so you can see the individual cells here if you look really closely and so the the, the hood is covered and the entire roof is covered as well so we made it two person because uh, we want to, to emphasize the, the, the freedom even more by making sure that at the end of your drive you do not have to return to a hotel or anything you just can keep going so we made the, the chair that can fold back and that way you can also sleep in it is this the first ever off-road solar car uh, as far as i know it is yeah. there are some uh, initiatives that do something a little bit similar but they're not as integrated as this. This car was designed to be a solar car and that's what makes it unique. It's, um, I think it's a big step for car manufacturers that they don't, it's a big risk for them to take. I think that's holding them back. Um, 
because no one has ever proven that people want solar cars uh, by building them and selling a lot of them um, and um, also cars are often thought of as it has to function as well in area one as in in, in another country so in uh, the very north of sweden it has to be able to drive as far as in france but this one couldn't because it will have more solar energy in france i think it's a, a very nice add-on for any electric car it's the principles are the same it's still an electrical propulsion uh, or propulsion drivetrain um, so why wouldn't you just add a solar panel to charge it it is still charging though right it it's is in the rain There's it is still, still sunlight can improve but, it's uh, just going to be less yeah that's it right well let's get back in and uh, uh yeah you're driving back under cover <laughs> but you proved it can be done that's something we wanted to yeah. do just prove that if we can do this we're only a team of 22 students then why can't yeah. big car manufacturers do this yeah. as well 